Hey, this is Bug Powder Dust. Thank you for joining me for a brand new series. I've had a couple of weeks off after the uh, the last run of 130 whatever it was episodes of The Beach, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And if you've watched it and stuck with me through the whole lot, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, due to the lockdown easing, we've uh, taken the time to go on a few days away, the family. So uh, hence the delay in getting out a new series. But here we are. So the new series is going to be Rich Explorer. I was really tussling with a few ideas of what I wanted to do. And I think I'll do this. I've not done a Rich Explorer start before. And um, it's quite the challenge. <laughs> so I thought, well, why not? Why not do it publicly? I've never actually played a Rich Explorer through and actually got it to work. So uh, especially on the difficulty level I'll be playing on. So we shall see. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy it too. Um, the difficulty level I may increase as the game sort of goes on it depends uh, how challenging I'm finding it but certainly I'll start off um, at the uh, top level um, sorry one from top is it strive to survive anyway we'll, we'll see it in a minute now what I'm going to do on this run is do a slightly different uh, way of editing now normally when I do the, the uh, series the run throughs I pretty much record everything that you see live without any edits or with very few edits I'm going to change that, this run through, as more of an experiment, see what you guys think of it, but also uh, probably for everyone's sanity. 130, whatever it was, episodes was quite a lot, so I'm going to cut out completely the bits where nothing's happening. Now, I did run a poll on this a while ago, months and months ago, and most, quite a few of the people who responded said that they like what I'm doing. But I just want to try a different way of doing things as well, just to, just to sort of change it up and see if maybe that's preferred. Um, so I'm going to cut out where nothing happens, maybe night time, things like that. You're not going to miss any action, and I'll be explaining um, what I do where appropriate. Obviously, it's not a tutorial guide, and if you are new to RimWorld, um, you might want to check out my Absolute Beginner's Guide or my uh, my Colony, uh, Vanilla Connolly, Co Connolly? Connolly. I've been watching too much Snowpiercer. Um, my <laughs> Vanilla Colony playthrough which is uh, 10 episodes and it shows you how to get a base off the ground um, and get you to kind of late early game all right with an, enough being said enough rambling from me let's go new colony rich explorer this is going to be vanilla with some quality of life mods as usual no mods which change the gameplay whatsoever or add anything to the game um yeah okay so uh rich explorer got wads of cash wants to go and do something a little bit tricky well he or she is going to have a real treat Starting lots of stuff, random pet. I'm really hoping it's not a cat. <laughs> I really don't want a cat. Um, yeah. Let's see. So I'm going to play with Randy, because uh, Ran Randy's huge amounts of fun. And I think... Uh, I'm going to do Blood and Dust. And I might switch it up to losing his fun afterwards, uh, really at any time, purely because this is obviously something that I'll need to reload in case anything goes wrong, which has happened previously. So we'll leave it on that. Okay, so here we go. The sea we're going to use is Rich Explorer, funnily enough. And Globe Coverage 30, Over Rainfall, plus one, minus one, plus one. Just to make it a little bit interesting. Let's go. Okay, so I've had a look at this seed previously. I've not gone into any maps, but I thought this area to the south looks quite interesting. There's a couple, there's a few allies around. There's some bases to hit when we get uh, ready for it. No Empire, but it's an Empire base there. We can... We can deal with that, I suppose. This area here looks good. I don't want to go with mountainous. I think large hills could be quite useful. So somewhere here, temperate forest is what I'm going to choose just to start off with. Um, difficulty level's high. So, yeah. I'm going to start with one person. I don't want to heap too much problems for myself. <laughs> Got to get to the character selection screen first. Uh, now, um, so one of these I think is probably good. I'd like to get marble as well if I can. So the quick, uh, quick gander. Limestone, marble, granite, year-round growing, berries, got caves, this was interesting, large hills, yeah, this is good. All right, this is going to be where we're going to start. Now, I'd like to make it a little bit bigger than normal, 275. You go into large, it starts getting problems with, uh, with drawing and rendering and whatnot, so let's do that. Let's check out the factions. Here we've got Broken Dominion, you've got the Aurarium Accord, Wasto, Wasto Hume, Tuscoa, Union of Rigo, Marulo Nation, and Nikita's Crocodiles. Cool. All right. This is where it gets interesting. So let's have a quick look. Rissa, Apprentice Oracle. Now she's 17. She's got youth on her side. She's a slow learner. Ooh. Bloodlust, super useful and slothful. Oh my gosh. So really, no health problems. She's all right all round, but um, yeah. Then we've got uh, 
can't do intellectual crafting. Construction's good. Planting is okay. Construction and planting would be really quite important um, for the, the, the sole person. But not having them able to do crafting intellectual is not that big a deal. Um, ascetic could be quite useful to start off with. Got a left leg, bite scar, okay. She's better at melee than shooting. All right, deep space mine. I can't do violent, no. Um, Samson survivor, psychically hypersensitive, jealous and kind, very young, good at shooting, poor at construction, okay at cooking, mm, yeah. Bartender, can't do firefighting, eh, pyromaniac, <laughs> no. Mail carrier, oh gosh. Uh, rocket engineer, can't do violent, forget it. Illuminator, good at melee, not very good at shooting. No, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to uh, randomise and just try and get somebody um, who is going to be half decent. I'm not going to use any mods to do this. I'm just going to rely on the randomise button and I will be right back. Okay, after much randomizing and agonizing, because obviously if you randomize, you can't go back to one you've had previously. <laughs> so I think I've I've hit upon uh, our rich explorer. He's called Red Randolph. Hi, I'm Red. I'm going to give him red hair, I think, on principle, even though you never see his hair after, like, <laughs> after he gets a hat or a helmet. Um, he is quick sleeper, which is going to be very useful, as it's just him, and he's pretty. Now, his melee is better than his shooting, but that's okay. Shooting is, is right. Construction's decent, mining's decent, he's got a burning desire uh, of, for learning plants, which is great, we're going to need it. Animals is, is not bad at all, that's going to be very useful as well. Crafting of four will be useful, artistic zero, don't care, medical five, good enough, social zero, intellectual zero. Social could be a problem trying to um, get people recruited, but we'll just have to live with that. And intellectual zero, by the time we get to research, we're probably going to have a few other people anyway, one of whom will hopefully be good at it. The only thing that bothers me is cooking zero, but honestly... He's pretty good, and he's got no negative traits or health conditions. So I think we're going to go with red. There we go. Beautiful. Red. With red hair. I love it. All right. Cool. All right, red. You're our man. Let's go. What pets do I have? What pet do I have? I've got a cat. No, a monkey. Sorry. <laughs> it looks a bit like a cat. A monkey called Gordon. All right. I'm down with that. All right, let's have a look. What have we got? No way. We've got two ancient... Oh, we've got two ancient dangers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. I've uh, got some caves. Have we got some bugs in the caves, though? Excellent. That's definitely going to get a couple of raiders. They're going to come in this way, aren't they? That's... Oh, yes. Especially as this is blocked here. So they're going to come up here. And this is the shortest route. Perfect. Go on, bugs. I hope they multiply and... Uh, do some good things. Right, well, I'm loving the look of this. Two Ancient Dangers is epic. We've got some decent stuff around. Um, let's have a quick look. We've got some guinea pigs. What wildlife do we have just out of interest? We've got some alpacas. Excellent. Alpacas. Alpacas. They want They want to be tamed. <laughs> 150%. Brilliant. And Randolph's got a good, uh, good taming chance. So that's excellent. We've got some rich soil. Lots of rich soil here. Where's the tree? Anima tree. Oh, up here. Okay, so it's not too far away. All right, I am digging this. Two Ancient Dangers, that's amazing. I've not seen Two Ancient Dangers on a map for a very long time, so I'm totally down with that. Steel Wall, okay, that's not ideal, um, but it's not poor. I'm thinking then we'll set up probably in here to start off with. I have a, um, a template for just a quick base, a quick basic base, which I'll I'll lay out. Um, so I'll do that with the planning tool and I will be right back. OK, so this is the uh, nice compact and bijou layout. So green is the rec room uh, and barracks. Going to experiment with not having bedrooms um, because obviously Randolph is on his own. And even when other people come, if the rec room is beautiful, then... <sighs> then surely they don't mind sleeping there as well. We'll see. Blue's hospital, yellow's the prison, uh, blue's the workshop, uh, store and freezer be the same place just for now. Butcher table's going to go in here, uh, and this kind of uh, salmon sort of colour is going to be the kitchen. So kitchen directly into um, into the freezer, and also we'll put some, some food on shelves which will go here. That's the plan. So the first thing we're going to do is lay out the stockpile zone, which we'll put here, and we'll leave that as kind of for everything. We are going to move the steel urn, and stick it in the right group as a kind of a as a first thing to do. Now, the other thing that we need to do, obviously, obviously, is to allow everything. That's the wrong icon. That's muscle memory. It's over here. I don't want to do that. Okay. 
Randolph needs to equip the charge rifle. There's no flak pants and flak vest like you normally get with the three people starting. Um, Gordon, I don't know if Gordon can do hauling. I would have thought a monkey will be able to do hauling. I see. Okay. So <laughs> that strikes me as being str a strange thing. All right, fine. That's cool. He's got a bond with Randolph already. Excellent. That's good. So guarding's done already. That's interesting. I'm not going to use animals to attack. I'm not going to order them to attack. I don't think that's a, that's a wise idea particularly. <clears throat> okay, so we'll leave Gordon hauling everything. We're going to set his priorities. Not that this really makes a whole amount of difference. Okay, so these items in the middle can go um, just to move them out of the way and to get us some more metal. We can't pull up the floor, unfortunately. I have to leave the planning on just so I can see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to set up a, a quick room to start off with. Probably this small area here is probably a good start. What I will do is mine these two blocks just to give us access to this area. We start with components. Yeah, we do a few. Okay. I'd like to chop some tree. Do we think we start with any wood? No. Unless he's brought it up already. No, he has. Okay, cool. I'm disinclined to use wood, quite honestly. But I'd like to get something done sooner than later. I'm going to deconstruct the stele. And is there any, any ruins around I can deconstruct and use them instead? I don't really want to build with steel if I can avoid it. But there's not many, ugh, there's not many ruins around here, unfortunately, that are not already steel. Mm. Alright, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use steel and I'll swap it out later. Because steel is quite abundant here. Steel goes against my, my ethics <laughs> to use steel. Uh, steel's too useful. I think I'll use wood. I will use wood. Structure, wall. And I'm going to swap it out as soon as I can. Just get ourselves up and running. I want to get him inside, give him a, a little a little room. And um, we can... We'll make the, the door out of steel, for sure. There's one less thing to do later. Alright, we can get rid of the planning visibility now. Deconstruct that. And we'll get that reinstalled in there. We'll get a bed made. In fact, what I'll do, I'll put down a sleeping spot for now. But I'd like to get a bed made. Alright, so I'm going to put a roof area in all this. And what I'd like to do is get the uh, the food hauled inside so it doesn't get eaten. Um, so I'm going to stick up a stockpile zone uh, just in there. And I'm going to get the food. Plural foods preferred. So Randolph will hopefully do this. I'm going to make sure he does that next, actually. And also, for that matter, the medicine as well. So let me just expand that zone. Manufactured and medicine. Right. Glitwell medicine can't leave that outside. That's just poor. What we need to do then is also make a bed. I think a light wouldn't go amiss as well. Beautiful. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, it's awful one. Okay, so it could be worse. It could be worse. Um, now, in terms of flooring, let's get rid of that negative debuff. Let's have a quick look at what the situation is. Uh, yeah, lots of minus ones. Um, it's mildly dirty as well. Let me just um, sort that out. So we use steel, get some paved tile. Now, concrete is actually neutral. No, it's ugly. That's it. Paved tile is neutral. All right, let's do that. So he's going to do the flooring. Relatively quick to build. Kind of dull, but there's no debuff, which is good. So that was awful 12. Let's be the dirt, I would have thought. We'll come to that momentarily. All right, so let's let him finish the hauling. We've got to get these other items in. I'll let him finish this because having it out here is just it's pointless. They get they, oh, Meals are going to get eaten and... Um, our medicine is going to deteriorate, and I don't want that. So let's just focus on doing this first. It's also incredibly painful when you start. Alright, so we're going to deconstruct all of that. Actually, not the urns. The urns we're going to hang on to, because they, they do add a little bit of beauty to a room. Um, not a great deal, but some. Five. Five's better than nothing, mm. honestly speaking. <laughs> Red thrombos, very nice. Alright, now the other thing we can do to make this place a little bit prettier is do a plant pot.
Okay, so got lots of steel. I think um, much much as I don't like to build walls with steel, I am going to start building out walls. We're going to need to build a prison or a hospital for um, people who are going to be arriving in drop pods and who want to join us because um, the storyteller's inclination is to get us to four clients as soon as clients <laughs> colonists as soon as possible. So I am going to make steel walls. Um, let me just do that. I said the majority of it. Our stuff is, is here already, so that's another one done. Um, it'd be good to get this just kind of laid out. Get steel doors. Got a combat supply already. Wow. Well, we don't really have anything that we can sell you. We do have large amounts of money though, 2,000, which is pretty good. Hey, Mr. Combat Supplier. Now, what's my social skill? <laughs> Lousy. In fact, I don't have social skills. All right, let's um, trade with Mr. Ninjak here. So, what have we got? Well, nothing that they want, particularly. It wouldn't hurt, I think, to buy a flak vest and a simple steel helmet. That's going to work for me, I think. And... Oh, wow. That's good stuff here. Tech print jump packs. Oh, that could be quite useful. I think we're going to go with those two. That's a good start. Shield belt no good to me because I'm, I'm a ranged fighter. Brilliant. So Randolph should put those on in due course once they're added to a stockpile. Let me just make sure they're added to a stockpile. I don't want him to force to wear them necessarily. I'd rather put them on himself. Eclipse. Yeah, no bother. Has he actually put that on? No. Alright, so... Doing well with the um, with the building here. A bulk goods trader. Wow. Do these guys get on? They probably do, but it wouldn't be hilarious if they don't. Then they kill each other and they drop loads of that good stuff. So you've got the Tazgua Confederation and the Aurarium Accord. Yeah, they yeah they get on with each other. Terrible shame. Bulk goods though. Oh, I've got nothing I can sell you, my friend. I'm really sorry. <laughs> They're all coming at once. Uh, let's have a quick look. Do you know, I am tempted. Let's have a look. Let's see what they want to buy. Hmm. So they got Parkers. they got Devil Strand Parker. That's nice. Um, yeah, not really much that I want here. Dock leather, patch leather components, chicken meat. A couple of alpacas would be good, but I can tame them. I don't need to, to buy them, really. I think pemmican could be quite handy in the event of emergency. I'll take 100 pemmican. Let's just haul that in. Where have they, where have they dropped it? Ah, oh, there it is. 25, 75. Yeah, could you could do that one as well? Oops. Okay, it's not into my stockpile inside though, is it? Um, this is something I need to do in the morning. Let's let's uh, focus this as being done in the morning. Let's turn my planning back on. And we're gonna make that wall in the morning. Right. All right, structure, door, there. That should not happen. In fact, that needs to be deconstructed. And then that should be a wall. And then that should be a door. Oh, we've got a raid. Marulo Nation. It sounds very exotic. Where are they coming in? The top. So it appears that Marulo Nation might actually run into these dudes. That would be very amusing. What's he got? Is it a naked chancer with a club? Yep. But he has brought me some silver. Now what's his situation? He's a body purist, night owl and bloodlust. I'm not seeing any downsides to this and he's 16. So he's going to be a nice um, long term <coughs> member. So, um, is he attacking straight away? As long as these guys don't go now and just head straight north. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I don't want to run the risk of them missing him. I'm going to pull them in. So what's his run speed? 3.5. What's my run speed? 3.58. Okay. If, if I trigger him, I'm going to trigger him and then try and pull him in. I do have a slight speed advantage. Go, 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 Mr. Randolph. Why is he stopped? Mr. Raptor. Mr. Raptor. 
Well, if you're going to let me shoot you, then I will. 200% bleeding. Looks out of range. Oh, I'm being near assault. Come on. Not looking very assaulty to me. Right. Skedaddle. Skedaddle daddle. Hey, bot goods traders, there's a chap here I'm pretty sure you don't like. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. They're going to deal with him. The the archers are running to melee him for some... No, no. Smack at it. Don't kill him too bad. I want to try and capture him. Okay. Well. Wasn't quite what I had in mind, but yeah, it's okay. Minimal effort. That's the main thing. Right. Um... How much is the club worth? Can we sell him the club? 80 bucks? I'm not going to get anywhere near that, am I? Let's just get the, let's get the silver. Always let the AI do the work for you. Pretty much done. Bye bye, trade caravan. Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> so we have 33 meals. 16 days worth of food. I can get a lot done in 16 days. Beautiful. Excellent. Right, now we're going to haul, haul this stuff out. I hope that makes the place look ugly. We're going to build um, a steel wall there. We're going to stick a door there. We're going to mine these things here. That's going to get hauled. Excellent. All right, these columns can go. And we are looking peachy keen. Right, so as soon as we got um, power in, we're going to start planting. So we have kind of the basics. Uh, we're going to probably harvest that. Harvest that. So that'd be a growing zone, so we can harvest these bad, bad boys. And oh, sorry, no. Beautiful. Can we complete that? Oh, we need steel. We're out of steel. What? How could we be out of steel already? Ridiculous. Ridiculous state of affairs. Uh. He's all in our walls, that's the problem. Okay, that's fine. We have abundant steel supplies in the... Yeah. So what I'm going to do, we're going to get power. We're going to get some growing zone set up. going to get my workshop set up with stone cutting. And we're going to start cutting some stone. I'd like to get some marble, but... Um... Oh, there, there we go. There's some marble up here. I'll just double click that. So there, are, there is some marble around, no, notably kind of over here. I'll fine tune that as and when, but if I've got a big patch of stuff here, then I think I'll, I'll use this. All right, standing lamp. We're going to have a standing lamp in here. I'll shuffle this around as and when. Standing lamp here, standing lamp here, standing lamp here. Probably here in the corner as well, just for now. So we've got some sandstone blocks here. I've got 94, which is actually quite useful. Got another trader. Damn, these guys are really keen. So 94 sandstone blocks. I'm going to reclaim some of this steel. I'm going to reclaim the wood, actually. I don't want wood in my base. So that's 10, 35, 45, 65. Ah, oh, that's over. 90, 95. Look at that. Okay, cool. I'll wait till he's got up. Another caravan. This is ridiculous. I still don't have anything to sell you guys. <laughs> Sorry. I can sell you a club if you like. Okay, so the traders are here. We can have a quick chat to them, I suppose. Doesn't hurt, does it? Quick chat to the traders. I'd love to buy the rhinos. That'd be amazing. Male and female as well. Little baby rhinos. Nothing cuter. Baby rhinos are really cute. Um, we can flog my steel club for eight bucks. Lovely. Um, they just... Because they're tribal war traders. There's nothing really of any use here. I've got a charge rifle, guys. Come on. I'm going to buy some more pemmican, I suppose. How much are they? How much pemmican? There you go. It's a nice neutral trade. Just that for the club. I'm happy with that. You never know this stuff's going to come in useful. All right. So we're swapping out the wood for the, uh, the sandstone, which is perfect. I'm going to swap this out for marble when I get the opportunity. As soon as he's done that, we're going to get some growing. Growing going on. I'm inclined to get a patch of rice to start off with. Let me just check the grow zone. Yeah, we're going to get some rice to start off with because it's quick, but it's quite labour intensive. We've only got one person. Um, so what I'm going to do is do a second zone and do it corn. Because corn does. Oops. Corn does grow. 
very nice indeed. Let's do seven by seven. That's yeah, it's fine. Okay. I want to wall this in when I get an opportunity, so it doesn't get eaten by the large amounts of wildlife that there is around here. Quite intensive construction going on, but he's going to make his construction skill. In fact, he's just got to seven, which is very nice. Uh, pretty good. He's very good at planting, so he's going to have a burning passion when he starts it, which is fab. I don't mind Gordon wandering about. What's uh, what's the monkey's filth rate? 0.22. It's not too bad. They're generally quite clean when they're not flinging their own poo at people. Apart from that, they're pretty good. All right, so sandstone got one left, but I think everything has been put in place. Yep, yeah, cool. As calculated. So the bonus is we got some wood back from it, so the generator is going to run for a little bit. She needs to complete these lights now. That's his next task. Construction comes before growing, of course. We can get rid of that. Lights, lights. Uh, may need to extend the power network. No, we don't. Cool. Ah, that's a sandstone wall blueprint. I need to make that something else. No, I'll just make that wood for now. Seeing as we have the wood to spare. All right, so he's, he's doing the he's doing the sewing. Fantastic, and he should get a burning passion thing. Yeah, there we go. 14 just for doing some planting. I love that. That's amazing. Can't be a bit of burning passion. He left us a gift. What did they leave us? 14 plus still. That's awfully very kind of you. That's because you don't know what to do with it. It tribals. Let me just make sure everything here is claimed because I don't want to fall into this trap again. Excellent. So it's a bedroom that is awful. That's okay. We just need to do some um, some cleaning. I should bring it around so the space is going to give it a nice buff. Okay, it's not like me to have anything, everything so quite nicely laid out like this. So this is uh, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Really, really. Ah, <laughs> oh boy. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Don't allow sowing, and we're going to cut all of these plants. Well, better now than later, I I guess. Oh, no, 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 that's way too much. I got a bit uh, drag happy there. Let's um, cut plants. It's going to be these, that, that, and also those. Right. He has no more construction chance. He's on the growing now, which is good. What's he doing? He's eating. Nom nom. Okay, come out. Cut, 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 cut. Mr. Randolph. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, I didn't do those two. Cut. Blip, 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 blip. And re allow sewing. Boom. And the blight was gone. We'll take the berry bushes. Mr. Burning Passion. Alright, cool. Not like in the steel base. We need to swap this out as soon as possible. We'll get a stone bench up. Once this is in the ground, yep, we'll definitely do that. So Randolph is now wearing his armour, which is epic. Good. Most important. Can't see his red hair anymore, but that's alright. But we got decent. Decent protection. Okay, this is going to be the prison, so we need to get a bed in there, basically. Um, let's sort that out. Wooden bed. And we need a small table. Sure, you can't do a one by one table, but um, it does appear to be the way it is. And get a wooden stool. How much wood do we have? 245. That's fine. We need to move these stockpiles now. So if I just, in fact, if I just get rid of the stockpiles. Did you spot the mistake? I didn't change this to corn. <laughs> like an idiot. Oh boy. Now, what I don't like is these um, this guinea pig hanging about, looking a little bit suspicious. I'm just banging down these growing zones just around the stuff I want to kind of harvest in. Here it's going to be coming very useful, it's kind of minor injuries really. <clears throat> All right, I think we are going to call it a day there. Um, I hope you enjoyed that first episode. Looks like we got quite a lot done, considering it's just one dude. We only had one raid, so, so far so good. Randy is appearing to take pity on us, for now. That really doesn't mean anything. It could be bad. We don't know. We shall see. But thanks, uh, thanks for your company today, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Do tune in for the next episode, episode two of The Rich Explorer. As for the end game, I don't know exactly what the end game is going to be at this time. But we have lots and lots of different options, so we shall see. But in the next episode, we're going to focus on, um, now we've done the planting, we'll get the workshop up and running, get some stone cutting, expand my base slightly, and then start working on defences and the other good stuff that comes with it. 
So you take care of yourself, and I'll catch you on the next episode. This is Buck, putting the plug.